put five in the tank and give me some smokes. Come on, Philip, let's go. You got something to say? No. You go get my smokes. Can also get a pack of the green ones? That's Going. Get a drink. Can I come? No. In the car. Go to sleep. going. Is this a shortcut? Are we lost? When I was your age, I used to spend my summers fixing cars, working in factories, not going to some faggot-ass tennis camp. Hey! Think you're gonna be a tennis star when you grow up? I don't know. Well, guess what? You're not. You're not gonna be anything. Quit wasting your time. Quit wasting your mother's money. Give the little kid fantasies a rest, will you? It's not a fantasy. Then what is it, Phil? little shits like you all my life. You think you're gonna grow up to be Mr. High and Mighty, don't you? You ain't gonna be shit. Just because you can't make your life work doesn't mean I won't be able to.
to learn something today, Philip.
Hello? 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 Hey. Hey. Here. <coughs> What's your name? to meet you too. <laughs> hey, I, I live close by, you know, and if you want to come over and get yourself cleaned up, some food.
Jack. This is Philip. Philip, this is Jack. Nice to Who the fuck is this? This is Philip. Philip. Philip who? This isn't a fucking motel, Lucy. I know, Jack. Just looked like he needed some help. Do you need help? Uh, Are you lost? Like, what's your fucking deal? Relax. I found him at the cemetery. I thought he was dead. Well, he's obviously not dead. What do you say, Phil? No, I'm, I'm not dead. See, he's not dead. So shut the fuck up, both of you. What is all this shit? I'm taking this. What is your problem? I don't have a problem, okay? I thought he was going to die. And I thought we could be cool and let him stay here. But why would you think that, Lucy? I mean, do you even know the kid? Where the fuck is he from? Where the fuck are you from? Oh. Use your words, Philip. Come on, talk to me. What's your fucking deal? Why are you here? What do, what do you need? What do you want? I don't want anything. He's lost. He needs a place to sleep. Okay, I'm not talking to you right now. I'm talking to magically appearing in the middle of fucking nowhere mystery man called Philip. What the fuck did you come here for? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, my stepdad's a fucking drunken asshole. He drove me out in the middle of nowhere and just left me there and drove off and I'm all alone. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know. Is that a true story? Fine. Hey, don't worry about Jack. That's that's just how he is. He's all dog and no bite. It's cool if you stay here. I appreciate the offer, but I don't, I don't think your boyfriend would like me to stay. A whole lot of stuff in that suitcase. Yeah, well, my mom packed it. She's, uh, she's not always the most aware. Be nice. I never knew my mother. I, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's cool. It's the way it goes. But you're lucky. Jack's lucky. Mm, sort of. Mm, never been lucky. Didn't know either of my parents. Here. You might want to just blow on it before you take it.
Phil. Morning. The early bird eats the worms, Phil. You have to learn to eat some worms. Come on, I got some stuff to show you. What do you do? Nothing really, I go to school. Why do you do that? I don't know, it's just what you're supposed to do. Who told you that, Philip? It's just how it is, what everybody does. No, that's not what everybody does, Philip. That's what you do. You don't go to school? No. No, I didn't need school, Philip. Or books. Everything I need to know, I got right up here. This is my school, Philip. What do you see? Dirt. That's right. It's dirt. But it's my dirt. All of this that you see, it's all mine. I own it. All of that land, those hills, that piece of sky, it's all mine. Look, I'm not trying to impress you, Philip, but I need you to understand that you're on my property. Yeah, I understand. So as long as you're here, you need to do what I say. This isn't some freeloader's camp. Do you understand? You're, you're the boss. That's right. You see, Philip, a rabbit is a lot like a person, a really desperate person. They'll do just about anything and go just about anywhere if it means they can get some food. That's why they go into a trap. They know what it is. They know it's a trap, but they need the food. So they go in anyway. And when they go inside and the trap door closes, do you know what they say, Philip? They say, damn, I knew it. And that's the problem with being a desperate person. You do things you know you shouldn't be doing. You don't smile much, do you, Philip? Oh, we'll have to change that. Lucy, you know some good jokes, right? No, I don't. Yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> Man, you guys are some fucking downers. Why don't you tell us a joke, then? Okay. Okay, I'm... Um... <laughs> um, so a duck walks into a store because he wants a beer and so uh, he's sitting there and he's drinking it and he asks the guy who works at the store now for his tab and <laughs> so um, 
the guy hands him, you know, his tab and he goes, oh, okay, just, uh, <laughs> just put it on my bill. <laughs> what, you get it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get it, Phil? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good one. <laughs> but you guys are laughing, I mean. Because your joke's fucking stupid. <laughs> well, why don't you tell us a joke, then? Let me see. Mm, well, I already said I don't know any Jack. Well, then shut the hell up. I know a magic trick. Well, you're good for something, right? Let's see it. All right. Um, uh, can I borrow all this? Yeah. So, uh, let's see this. It's just regular napkin. Yeah, good. Mm. All right. Try this. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Cover up the um, rabbit. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? Just, just pretty sure it's uh right there. There it is. It's <laughs> amazing. That's great. Can I have this back now? Thank you. I thought it was nice. Your dad teach you that? So you gonna stay? I don't know. I think you should. What about Jack? What does he think? Uh, he thinks that we could be one big happy family. Really? Yeah. He's a good person. He's been through a lot. He's got a really good heart. We'll see. Good night.
playtime's over. Let's go. Just be cool. Not over there, fucktard. Come on, let's go. What? No! What's no! Happened? Let's go, dickbag. Let's go. They don't understand what you and I have always known. That this is all bullshit. It's all bullshit and lies. You know these people? Yeah, I know all of these people, Philip. Like I know the smell of dead animals. Now listen here, faggot. This is how it is, okay? It's about principles and responsibilities. You wanna stay with us? Then this is how it's done. You wanna go off to your mommy and daddy? Well, here's your chance. You're back in civilization. So what's it gonna be, Phil? to steal slot machines or baseball cards, okay? We're here for the shit we need. You understand? Yeah. So what do we need, Philip? Uh, I, I don't know. Think, Philip, think. What do we need? Clothes?
Okay, this is what's gonna happen, okay? They're all gonna get home. And the mom's gonna walk right in. She's gonna waltz in. She... Oh my God, where are my cups and my plates oh, and my silverware? It's all missing. Oh, and my spatula's missing. Now what? And the dad, he's gonna walk right in. Oh no. Oh no, what is this? Oh, what a mess. This isn't gonna work, but it's okay. It's all okay, because daddy is gonna make it all better with his money, okay? Okay, so everyone come in. Come in here, Timmy, Timmy, you. Come here. I'm gonna get you a new bike, a brand new one. You're gonna, it's, you're gonna love it, I promise. And candies, candies, you're gonna get a candy store. <laughs> A whole candy store. It's gonna say candies is candy store. It's gonna be amazing. All your candy's gonna be in there, your favorite things. So it's all better. It's all better. Everyone come here. Daddy loves you. He loves you so much. Come here. Okay, hug. Oh. Oh, 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 I love you. Okay. And that's why who gives a shit, Philip? I'm glad you're still here. What? Not the nice. So I'm so lost. I don't know. When I was little, I got put with a really nice family. And they had a really nice house in a really nice town. And they sent me to a really nice school. And everything was really nice. But the kids at the school they teased me. See, I was just this weird orphan girl that nobody understood or cared to. So I started getting into fights, real fights, with fists. I even hit some teachers. So they kicked me out of the school. And then the really nice family wasn't so nice to me anymore. And I just started to feel like everybody was against me. And that I was just off, different. And the whole world hated me. So I just snapped. And I burnt the really nice house down. And then I ran away. That's terrible. Yeah, it, it is terrible, but that's not the point. The point is, is that, you see, God was testing me. He was testing me and I failed. And then, and then he went away and he never came back. And I think that God is testing you now.
What should I do? I don't know. It's for you to figure out. Up, Philip. Slept enough. Stray dogs have returned to the roost with blood on their jowls and fresh meat in their tooth. I found you a stranger. His name's Philip. Bring it inside. Must have lived here a long time. Yes, I have, Philip. But you have not. No. No, I have not. Where all these people go? They've been healed from the poison in the dirt. And now they're gone. They died? You would say that they died from the poison in the water, from the poison dirt, from the mines. But they were healed by the Lord. And so there were those that fled to the new world, the living world. They were promised the new civilization, but they got unjust laws, things that shine like rays of light from a thousand different suns, like the civilization that you came from. But they're the ones that are truly dead. But you, you were set free. You've been delivered to your salvation. We must make you new. We must make you pure. We have to make you pure. We must make you pure. Life, my son, is a sacred gift. It's a fragile vessel. It's a precious stone. It has been forcibly wrenched from the earth and it will stay on each place in the hands of fools. Be prepared to be made righteous into the eyes of the Lord. You are the black cloud in the blue sky. You are that evil sea that has fallen upon the tilled earth of the righteous man. 
You're the bitter herb in the sweet spring day. That tasteless poison in the purified water. The rotten wood in the wet study foundation. You are the beginning of the plague. And now you are free. Jesus Christ. You are saved. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're saved. No, you almost killed me, you fucking Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have been saved. There you go, Phil. What the fuck was that? You have been saved. Oh, bullshit. He nearly killed me. Let's see, now you're pure. All those, those bad things that you did, man, they're gone. Don't you feel good, man? Fuck this! Is that how you say thank you? Where are you going? Back to the house. And why are you doing that? What else am I supposed to do, Jack? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's time you go home, Philip. I don't want you here. Nobody wants you here. I've done everything that you've asked me to do. I, I just, look, wake the fuck up, Philip! You're a burden. Lucy agrees with me. I don't. No, I don't understand. Of course you don't understand. I know. You don't understand anything! You see those mountains? Yeah, Jack, I know. You own them. No. Yours. That's how you get back to wherever the fuck you came from. Go that way. Go home. Go home! And tell your mom and dad I said no thanks. What did you do? Well, I sent him home. What? Why? Because I was tired of seeing his faggoty little face. <laughs> no, you, you, you can't do that. What's the big deal? You barely even know the kid. Are you really that heartless? What's the big deal, Lucy? The big deal is that Philip is a human being. He's not just some house pet that you can throw in the trash whenever you're through with him. What is he gonna do now? I don't know, who cares? I care. You don't care about anybody, Lucy.
What the fuck is your problem? What the fuck is your problem? I thought I made it pretty clear that you aren't welcome here. You know there's nothing on the other side of those mountains? No, no, I didn't know. You sent me on a fucking death march. Is that your angry face, Philip? Very convincing. Why did you do that? Because I don't want you here. What don't you get? I have nowhere else to go. It's bullshit. You ran away from home. Why don't you run back there? I can't go home. Of course not. You can't do anything. Fucking useless. Get the fuck off me! You feeling pretty good about yourself, Philip? Well, let me tell you something that it's a fucking man's world. And you're just a little boy. Go home, Philip. Just leave. Get off of him! Get off! Don't touch me! You know the problem with you two? Is that neither of you know when you've outstayed your fucking welcome. Go. My God, let's fucking go.
What are we doing? What the fuck? You want to be a big happy family? All right. Well, here we go. We're gonna have ourselves a big happy family fun time. I don't want to do this. Well, life doesn't work that way, Philip. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to do things that you don't want to do. Check upstairs, Philip. Check upstairs. Idea, Jack. It's been a real blast. Well, you weren't enjoying yourself? This is what you wanted, right? You're sick. You need to fucking relax. You know, Philip, Lucy tells me your mom's a pretty serious drunk. Jack! I'm sure you know the scent of alcohol pretty well. Why don't you go find us a drink? Fucking move! Something about it. I don't think old Phil's gonna do anything about it. And you don't seem to do much of anything lately. So once again, it's up to me to take care of the fucking situation. No, don't, don't! Let her go! No, Lucy, she's gonna tell on us, okay? She's gonna fucking tell on us!
Philip, Philip, man, wake up, okay? We're leaving. Wake the fuck up! We're leaving! evidence, okay? This is the shit that's gonna put us in jail, so we just, we gotta get rid of the right, otherwise they're gonna know. They're gonna, they're gonna know it was us. So we just, we have to fucking burn it, okay? Nobody is coming here. Nobody knows anything. You don't know that, Lucy, okay? I know, they, they know, uh, they, they, I can fucking hear them, okay? I can hear them. So we just, we just, so we just gotta get out of here, okay? I don't, I don't hear anything. We just, okay, we just gotta go. Jack, you need to calm down. No, I can see what's happening with you two. I can see it! You know, you guys think that this is my fault, but it's not. It's not my fault! It's everybody's fault! Okay? So, we just, we just gotta get the fuck out of here, okay? So, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go! You know, you're so smart all of a sudden, why don't you tell me? How about you, Philip? You got any bright ideas? No, Jack, ever you see. You see, that's the problem with you two. You always know what doesn't work and you have no idea how to fix it. It's uselessness. I didn't even say anything. Shut up, shut up, shut up! You know this is your fault? Yeah, Jack? Why is that? You know, how about you enlighten me? Because I told her not to bring you in. I told her you were bad luck. I told her! And then, I took you out into the desert. And you found your way back, like a fat. Absolutely, Jack! If Philip was the one to cut out that woman's head, then maybe I would agree with you! But he didn't! You did! Like a fucking maniac! And that is why this is happening! Bullshit! It was just a matter of time. What? A, a matter of time? Come on, Philip! A matter of time? Where are you going? Fuck! Where are you going? I don't know, Jack. See what's out there. Yeah, what are you gonna go and do? You gonna go and pick some berries, Lucy? There's nothing out here. This is a fucking wasteland. Are you gonna put away the gun? No. No, I'm not gonna put away the gun because I'm the boss and the democracy is fucking over. I'm the boss. Do you have an opinion? No, no, you don't. Do you have an opinion? You're the boss, Jack. Say it, Philip.
go. This place is a fucking wasteland. Brothers and sisters, the eyes of the Lord are upon us now. He judges all of us. He knows. He knows what we do. We who are his castaways were chosen to live as exceptions outside the rules and the regulations of the great conspiracy of society. And yet, he expects us to act with unselfishness and great discretion and deference towards his society in the clouds. Yes, I am speaking of the righteous kingdom of heaven. But you, you three, I have never been so disappointed in my life. I have tried to cast out the evils. I have tried to contend with your demons. I tried to deliver you to salvation, but I failed. I have failed. And now I must cast you out of this Eden. I must send you away from this beautiful garden that the eyes of the Lord has built and that you have now destroyed. Get out! All of you, get out! We're not going anywhere. You're the devil! And you are getting on my last nerve. You're living in my land, in my kingdom, and you're telling me to leave? The eyes of the Lord will judge you. They can go to hell. For what I care! Jack, stop it! Jack, stop! Eyes of the Lord will... Get off of him! Get off! Get off of me! Isn't that touching? No, really, it's uh, it's the kind of shit that warms your heart. It's fucking adorable. 
Are you crying, Phil? No. Good. Because men don't cry. Now maybe you didn't learn this in your faggoty school. But because I have to teach you everything, let me tell you something else. When this is all done, and you go home to your mommy and daddy, and they ask you how vacation was, I want you to tell them that you had the best time of your life. You met this really great guy, Jack. He taught you everything. Things you didn't even know existed. But you took it all for granted. You were completely oblivious to how grateful you should have been. Because you're just some spoiled little brat that should have never left home in the first place. You know what they'll say? Philip. Say it's okay. It's fine. We love you so much. Let's all go to an ice cream shop. And forget about that sad Jack fella. It's over. It's over. Fine. Fine, it's over.
Let's get out of here. Lucy, let's go. Lucy! Lucy, let's go. No, let's go. No, I can't. I can't. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? Who's gonna find us? Lucy! I have to go and help him. Are you, are you crazy? Lucy! I, I, I can't let him die like this. Lucy, Lucy, please. Please don't go. Everything's gonna be all right, Philip. Jack! Take a look at your girlfriend, Philip! You know, I really hope you got the chance to fuck her. Maybe you and I could grab a beer and swap stories. Oh, 